If there's a way to die, I can guarantee you that a hamster has experienced it in some way, shape, or form. These are people's stories of hamsters dying in extraordinarily morbid ways. I popped a balloon and it had a heart attack. My daughter came home excited one day and threw her bedroom door open abruptly and she looked over and saw the little dude twitch and die. Scared it to death, I guess. It sneezed so hard, it died. My ex had a hamster that lived in the couch for a while because it escaped its cage. Then it killed itself in a mousetrap meant for the actual mice. I had two hamsters. The dad lost it and ate all the babies and mom during labor. He later escaped and was never seen again. My kids won't own hamsters. Kiwi the hamster eaten alive by her cage mate. Mine drowned in the dog water bowl and just floated there. My hamster used to climb to the top of its water bottle and push on the top of its cage lid. One night, I apparently didn't close the lid enough. In the middle of the night, I was awoken from dead sleep by a loud popping sound. A few seconds later, I smelled burning hair. My little fuzzball had escaped and had chewed through the electrical cord on the floor lamp. She always climbed up her cage until she broke her neck. I crushed it under the leg of the couch by accident. Parents left me alone, so I let my hamster free in the living room. Why did he run straight? Right into the fireplace. We forgot it was in the hamster exercise ball and it got stuck trying to move forward until it exhausted itself to death. Mine died in three days and the lady at PetSmart told us it was a wet tail, which means diarrhea. He shat himself to death. Fell in toilet. I had a gerbil. He wanted out of his cage so badly that he jumped straight up at full strength in an attempt to escape. Turns out gerbils are pretty good jumpers. He hit the roof so hard that he broke his neck. I said boo and it passed away on the spot. I want to be sad about it, but I was just disappointed. We had one that had escaped and hadn't been seen for days. Then, he bolted out from under the couch right in front of a vacuum. Slump! Its own fart scared him and died. My brother Josh took a pic with Flash and it died. My cousin's hamster's tooth grew into its throat and impaled itself. Exploded after eating a carrot. When my mom was little, her hamster gave birth, and when she touched one of the babies, the hamster ate it. Mom stepped on him. Cat ate its head off. Got dyed blue. Food coloring. Not actual hair dye. Apparently, this kills them. He died. <laughs> my hamster apparently had a tumor behind its eyes. One morning, I went to feed it, and its eye just kind of exploded. Escaped at night and jumped off the second story balcony. Running exercise wheel. The whale kept going, but she didn't. My nephew's hamster bit him, so he had bit it back. Broken spine. One of my friends had a Bible fall off her bookshelf and smash her hamster. Mine got stuck in an oven. I had two hamsters. Sisters named Cindy and Mindy. One day, Cindy ate Mindy. He ate his hamster wheel and died. Not a piece of it. Not a side. The entire wheel. Apparently, hamsters can't eat iceberg lettuce. He ate my Black Ops poster. I unintentionally cooked it in the microwave. I still hate me for this, poor little buddy. How the fuck do you cook it in a microwave? I gave mine a warhead, and I honestly think it was the equivalent of killing off a small Victorian child with a sip of McDonald's Sprite. Mine choked on a Cheeto and proceeded to die. My mom's committed suicide via jumping off a table onto a Buddha statue. He just kept eating. I couldn't stop him.